Hello, hello, this is Joe from Nerd and Career. We are continuing our Budget Kindred series looking at the Elf Synergies Part 2. Because they're usually do one per, but there's so much Elf Synergy stuff. Even now, I feel like I'm skipping a lot of the big ones, but yeah. This is uh, Well Wisher, the alternate art. Um, does anyone else think that looks like Shelley Duvall? Um, Maybe that's a dated reference at this point, but anyway, not from The Shining, from, I don't remember what movie, there's a movie where she is blonde, and it, I swear that looks just like Shelley Duvall, but anyway, I'm gonna enough rambling about Shelley Duvall. What about elves? This is the same almost every time, and we've got, they're green, they have mana dorks, they've got plenty of buffs, removals, recursion, all kinds of tricks. If you're building an elf deck, it's not a one-way street kind of thing. Like, you, you've got access to just about anything you might need, really. This is the seventh video of the elf series on elves that have kindred synergy, part two, as I said, yeah. What do I mean by budget? This video, it's one dollar or less, and I am using the TCG market value. Not a sponsor, no, not at all. Anywho. Yeah, it's usually $2 or less. I kept this one by accident under $1. So that happens sometimes. Also, we're now on Facebook. So if you want to catch us, uh, us out on... Just stop. Uh, check us out on Facebook. Please do so. Yeah. Anyway, MTG Nerd in Korea on Facebook. Also, if you can uh, subscribe and hit like and all that good stuff, that'd be great. Number five. Okay. Sylvan Messenger, three and a green, or this two two with trample. Two two with trample is weird, but actually very important for this card. So when it enters the battlefield, reveal the top four cards of your library. Put all elf cards revealed this way into your hand, and the rest onto the bottom of your library in any order. Or sorry, yeah, in any order. Um, so yeah, the main thing you need when you're doing any kind of like kindred synergy is to keep getting the kindred yeah right pretty obvious stuff um this is going to make sure hopefully you get at least like a couple elves but even if you get two if you can flicker this right if you can like pick it up put it back down it'll just keep doing it over and over and over so yeah um super useful there also those two two trample sounds weird but Elves have so many anthem effects and buff and buffs and things like that. Like you're going to be able to like throw all kinds of bonuses on her, and yeah, that two two with trample is going to be like a big old monster with trample very quickly. Anywho, ten cents, just a great and uh, both fronts. It's kind of like she comes in, she helps, and then when she's there, she helps in a whole different way. Number four. Well, Wisher. Okay, so this is one in a green for a one one. Tap to gain one life for each elf in play. Again, in play, not just you control. In play, elves are very common. Someone else is probably going to have an elf or two. Um, gaining one life may not sound like a big deal. Um, it's something I've needed in an elf deck, just to like not really get ahead, but to, just to keep balance. Also, if you're doing a Selesnya elves. Celestia elves do have a lot of like um, life link or life gain interaction, so in the right deck, this could be very very useful. And in any deck with elves, I'd say just being able to like keep your life total a bit higher is always nice. Anyway, 87 cents. Number three. Voice of the woods. All right. So this is three green green five CMC for two two. Sounds bad, right? You can tap five elves you control, create a 7-7 seven, seven green elemental creature token with trample. So every five elves you tap, he can be one of the five, first of all. And four 1-1 one, one tokens. You can make those 1-1 one, one tokens super easily. Um, this just... Do this on, like, the last player's end step before your start, and, um... You've just got like seven, seven elementals. You can just throw at people every combat. It's um, a lot of 
extra attack power just going down on the board all of a sudden and again you can make them and then have your untap right after that and they're they're summoning sick for like three seconds right and then they're ready to go oh 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 anyway 18 cents only number two Liz Alana Bowmaster Liz Liz I I don't know anyway two and a green for a two two with reach always nice to have things with reach elves are generally pretty good about that whenever an elf, you cast an elf spell so remember this is cast if you have like a token elf enter the battlefield nothing happens this is casting an elf you may have this creature deal uh, two damage to target creature with flying so this is anti-flyer the main thing you want with this death touch right Give it death touch and then every time you cast an elf spell you're just removing a flyer from the game um this will add up quickly right even if, especially with the death touch thing even if they've got like dragons you can probably just keep pumping out elf spells and then that dragon board is going to get small real fast and even if it doesn't you know what you've got your reach people as well so hey anyway two whole cents for this one crazy Number one, Priest of Titania. Um, I said it correctly this time, which is helpful. It sounds like I'm not being, uh, yeah, not talking about something inappropriate. Anyway, one and a green for a one, one. You can tap it to add a green for each elf on the battlefield. This is not an uncommon effect. There are other cards that do the exact same thing. I like this one because it is one and a green for a one, one, right? One in a green is something you can cast easily. It like we won't really slow down your turn. And then she's going to start pumping out mana very quickly. Ideally, if you have a lot of the, uh, these elves with tap effects, you've got something where you can give them haste, right? You can throw on like a swift boot, uh, bu 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 swift bu boots or something. And then, yeah, you're going to be able to tap this right away and get mana out of it the same turn. Um, but yeah, it is a very powerful effect not an uncommon one i like this one because it is you know the casting cost is so low and it's only 28 cents which is nice too a list okay sylvan messenger is 10 cents well we sure 87 cents the most expensive one we said the woods 23 cents Liss Alana, Bowmaster, two whole cents. Priest of Titania, 28 cents. All right, take it easy.